What's up guys? This is James and today we're going to be taking another look at some budget gaming gear. So as you can see here it's a keyboard today and this keyboard goes by the name of the Red Dragon Karura K502 Gaming Keyboard. As we are greeted by the box we see nothing really too fancy here other than the Red Dragon logo and some specs about the keyboard and upon opening the box you will find much much less. Seriously this box is about as empty as my fridge. This keyboard is a chiclet style membrane keyboard so no cherry switches or super responsive key presses or significant tactile response but a comfortable keyboard which is aimed toward the more casual gamer or entry level gamer. This keyboard features 8 different color options red, green, dark blue, purple, light blue, yellow and including off. Off is a color now apparently. Function keys to control various other settings such as the brightness and whatnot. The ability to lock the Windows button for games that don't really have it disabled. Trust me, this is a lifesaver if you feel more than daring than usual or in the one carrying your team and you accidentally spank that Windows button and get wrecked in that 2 seconds. Gold plated USB connector, a beautifully braided red and black USB cable, and my favorite feature by far and this actually took me quite a while to figure out because I always toss aside the manual when I get a product a breathing feature that has variable speeds so you can shift through those seven color options off not included for a nice ambience when you're not really doing anything or speed it up if, if you feel the need to I don't really know why and for those lefty gamers out there you can remap those WASD keys to be used on the number pad so if that helps any now that we have the good out of the way, let's talk about some things I dislike about this keyboard. The keyboard does feel kind of cheap when it comes to button mashing and the overall rigidity makes it feel like it has a short lifespan, but that's what you can expect for a sub $20 keyboard. There are no hubs on the keyboard because of its slimness, and the palm rest, I'm guessing what that's what that is at the bottom, is slightly uncomfortable for long gaming and typing sessions, and your fingers are likely to fall asleep. Now Red Dragon does have some very high quality material and this keyboard and along with the Red Dragon Citro Forest gaming mouse I have is part of the Red Dragon Lite series. Would I recommend this keyboard for an entry level PC gamer or someone who is a competitive gamer but is on a very very tight budget? Of course! It gets the job done and I have been using this for almost all of my PC gaming since. If you like this video please be sure to like it and dislike it if you didn't and be sure in the comment section below to let me know how the new audio is on my new mic. Subscribe for more material like this and I will see you guys later.